The truth behind Valorant. Finally, Chat. bro. Is it time to browse some Chilo's art? Oh! <laughs> yup, that's me. Oh no. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Classic. In 2024, I decided to start streaming on Twitch. Playing my favorite game, of course. Counter-Strike. With the release of Counter-Strike 2, my live streaming journey has been nothing short of amazing. We built an awesome community. Hi, what's your name? Come shot. Oh my god. Hit Twitch partner. Gambled. Boss. And when I say gambled, I mean gambled a lot. <laughs> and of course, I got to do what I do best. Make fun of your guys' Counter-Strike skins. <laughs> As far as I can look back, Counter-Strike has always been an escape for me. You'd hop Bro, on after good, a though. day of class, hop on after a day of work. Next thing you know, you're unemployed in your mom's living room, grinding face it with your friends. Crying out loud, I got 7,000 hours in this game. Counter-Strike is my favorite game ever. I can say confidently, it is the best game to ever exist, and I love it so much. Run this, never mind. Me today, bro. Cheaters. Oh man. Cheaters. Cheat, 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 hack, 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 spin, bot, aim, hack, ball, hack, ball, hack. As many of you know by now, Counter Strike 2 is currently held captive by the cheating community. Uh -huh. We've seen a lot of amazing creators come out and take a stance that they're done playing the game. So today, I decided to come out and make my stance. I'm gonna be following. My founding fathers of North American Counter-Strike and dipping my toes oh. into unknown waters. That's right. I'm gonna subject myself to Valorant. Oh man. Instead of avoiding Counter-Strike entirely, why not play a similar game with better anti-cheat where I don't have to deal with cheaters? As a Counter-Strike player, you're gonna hear a lot of Valorant urban legends and myths about how haunting this game is. I'm curious to see if the myths and urban legends about Valorant are true. Is there really e-dating couples in every game? Do the skins actually look like Fortnite? We're gonna find out together. It can't be as bad as they really say, right? You're right? a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think today's the day. Yo, what, what is this background, bro? <laughs> Holy I shit, I didn't think we were gonna load in. <laughs> Guys, that was a four minute load time. Just to get into the main menu. Right what? off the rip though, this presentation, this is crazy. Wait, you really thought I was gonna load into a game without any skins? You're insane, you must not know me. Let's go ahead and click on the store to see oh. what we got. Snowfall Judge. This is a <laughs> snow globe. Brother, it's April. Nice. Luna's Descent, I'm guessing this is a knife? It's like a karambit. 35 fucking dollars. I see $35 for a knife. Like that's a Counter-Strike player's dream. But then I remember, we're in Valorant, okay? Uh -huh. I'm stuck with this knife forever. Whatever, dude. Whatever, I'll buy the fucking knife. All right, my purchase has been oh, completed. Brother. Congratulations. Chat, the one thing that I didn't do when we tried out the water in Valorant, I didn't buy any skins because I thought they were super overpriced. If in CS you buy a knife for 100 bucks, you can get back 100 bucks, minus the fee, minus 5% or whatever, right? And if, if, you, if you buy something in, uh, in Valorant, it's, that money is gone. And there were some skins which literally cost, I think, $20 for one USPS. Fuss. One USPS, okay, and then I used the, the Phantom and I need to buy another one for 30 bucks. That's insane. To me, it should be like in Fortnite where you buy, I don't know, where you buy one, like a like a wrap for the gun or something, and then, which you can use apply onto everything. I thought that that's how Valorant works, where you have like where you buy a bundle and it applies to everything. Bro, twenty bucks for one skin is nuts in my opinion. Got myself my oh, first brother. Valorant knife. I don't even like it. Speaking of skins, the sponsor of today's video is Skin Swap, and they're also arr, sponsoring. Arr, 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 arr. What's up, team? What's up? Oh, oh God. The one thing which was good about Valorant for me, but at the same time bad about Valorant, is the community. And that sounds weird, but let me explain. The people in the first games, My driller. amazing, super nice, the nicest people ever, made some absolute cool connections with those people, the randoms that I queued with, but then it changed. I don't know whether it was the NA servers because I played ranked in NA and in EU. But I swear on God, 
all of a sudden it switched and from one game to another my next game i queued first message in the chat twitch.tv slash sage daddy 69 bro and, 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 and they were just like yo guys can you follow my twitch bro i swear on god does everybody fucking stream in this game i swear there's people who stream snipe streamers to plug their twitch and holy shit that comes with a side taste that made that made me want to like just exit the game real quick, like real fast. It, that, and that happened, I think, three times in a row, three times in a row, where people just fucking plug their Twitch. In CS, that happened to me once, bro. It it, it was a shock to me, a culture shock. Hi. That is so annoying. We're being really loud. It's not about because oh, I I don't want him to like f all the cloud to him. Hey hey business. Hey, you do you. You know it's hey if if if, if this shit wasn't popping for me, yeah, it's a cringe thing to do. But I see why he does it. But Man, that's fucking annoying because it's like there's a different taste to it. Then you know, it's it's. You think you're playing with randoms? Nine. They're only in your game to p p push that Twitch, Buddha. It felt so weird. I swear. Oh my God! He just got his head blown off. This game's loud. It's too loud. Sensory overload. Okay, my audio yes. is going in insane right now. Where am I? Got a kill. Spike down. Some of the kills felt nice. Not gonna lie, I felt unstoppable with the Galil. Oop. So I didn't. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh no! Someone say what the hell? Wait, he killed himself? That's what I would do too. Mitz, what's your knife? What the fuck is that? Game Boy Halo Energy Sword? Yes, yes it is. What the fuck? What do you guys think about? I thought she was planting a bomb. Spike, Spike. What is that? Game Boy Halo Energy Sword? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> he what was the right. fuck? What do you guys think about Counter Strike skins? Uh, they're overpriced and dumb. Overpriced and dumb. <laughs> I could say the same thing. You're paying thirty dollars for a knife that you can't sell. You will never have that money back. I swear, Valorant is getting away with robbery prices because of Counter Strike. I'm telling you, because people give the argument, oh, but Counter Strike knife costs a hundred bucks. Yes, but you get back a hundred bucks. Yes, you need to have the initial investment. Yes. But you can buy an AK for ten dollars. You can sell it for ten dollars. This budget AK is for fucking one dollar, which looks nice. You apply some stickers to make it look unique. In fucking Valorant, you buy a twenty dollar USPS. Then you have these chromas. And sometimes I've heard people say, "Oh, but the the skin itself looks bad." You need the chroma. The chroma is another. I don't know how much. Nah, and that money is gone. I swear, Valorant skins, they are the ones that are overpriced. I said it, bro. In here, buddy. <laughs> Well, nice try, guys. Nice try. After my first taste of Valorant, I started to get a better sense of what I was getting myself into. So, with the confidence of last game's loss, I decided to hop right back in and find out more about the game. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Low elo Valorant is beyond anything I could have ever comprehended. This part of my Valorant journey was straight torture. <laughs> so to save your guys' time and oh mine, let's just break this down into three segments. Chat, chat, chat. We may have, we may have to do a second episode, bro. Not gonna lie, we may have to do a serious getting my Valorant rank, where where I do the full torture because you have to be a certain level to get like to to get ranked in the first place. I make a fully new account, even if the things happen that I just said, where there's people they see an opportunity that. I have to go through it, whether I like it or not. I would be kinda down, bro. I uh, kinda as a challenge stream. Valorant skins. In the age-long battle of Counter-Strike vs Valorant, one of the hottest topics is always which game has the better skins. Mm -hmm. Just as in Valorant's gameplay, it's not even close yes, to Counter-Strike. So instead of sitting here and arguing wow. which game has the better skins, why not just solely judge Valorant skins for what they are? The skin is an airplane with a character. <laughs> I've never seen this before. This has to be new. This is a fat. Is this not a phantom? What am I looking at, bro? Fucking uh, uh, from from League of Legends, the guy who's flying, bro. Corgi, no. <laughs> what is that? Sitting in the fucking cockpit. Usually, I'd have a bit lined up for something <laughs> like this, but what is that? I am just speechless as to what I'm witnessing right oh now. This skin doesn't even have a barrel. This looks AI generated. <laughs> yeah. I can guarantee you all of this was designed by someone who works at Riot. Just sitting at a desk. 
Dolphin, bitch. This just <laughs> looks like you walked into H&M or Zoomies and went to the clearance shelf. It's just- Oh my god, he's right though. Unstoppable. Inheritable. Oh my god. Just trash. <laughs> Even looking at the accessories, 4,500 points to get this calling card that just has two of the game's characters on it. You know, it's cool. I'm not gonna sit here and knock Valorant skins. They fit in with the game, with all the abilities and shit. So a lot of the variety and creativity that's brought to the table, it could be anywhere on the spectrum. This guy's a pet dragon. How'd you get that? And no, I'm not ending this <laughs> argument with Counter-Strike. I think Simple has the same operator, bro. I remember watching Simple play Valorant, and I think he had that one as well. It's really up to you on which skins you like more. It's all good. You have your own little world. You stay there. You stay in your world, in Valorant world. Gameplay. I can't be doing this alone. This is too much. This solo queue Valorant is too much for me, dude. My brain <laughs> is rotting. I don't know about you, but I think it's time we call in some backup. Yellow. What's Ooh. good, bro? What up, goat? I'm a, I'm a little sick right now, so. Gold deck. We all know him and love him. CS2 content creator used to be a Valorant content creator. Uh-oh, what's wrong? All right, you, you hopping on? Yep, I'm on the gang, cool. Wait, did you say you started with this game, or did you start with CS and then no, move to no, Valorant? No, no. I started with CS. I just like the story of the game. Like, I like the lore of it. That's what brought me back. There's Valorant, Valorant lore? Yeah, it's pretty It's pretty cool. I need uh, to look at that. Dude, I don't know how Slay World was giving you that sloppy. I don't Dude, know it looked that. so real. It looked so yeah, it realistic. One enemy remaining. Crash talk in this game, though, gets real goofy. I tried the spray transfer, and it just did not. Omens. Oh, nice. You're all on your own. One enemy remaining. And spawn. Let's go. Oh, damn. Once the ball started rolling with Goldeck, I started to realize this game is actually super smooth and responsive. No frame loss and the kills were extremely satisfying. But then I remembered, there's more to this game than killing. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I oh, that, that is guy. so cringe! What is he doing? Yeah. That guy just took my gun out of my hands. It made me sit Wait, there what? like a coward. Is that an ultimate? What the fuck is going on? Shut but then the I remember, up, there's fucking more to this game than killing. This game with every skin what the fuck is going on? Used <laughs> oh, that is <laughs> so cringe! What is that? Yeah. that guy just took my gun out of my hands. It made me sit there <laughs> like a coward, helpless, <laughs> with I've nothing I can do about it. That's not fair. Dude. Valorant abilities. That's so tilting. That's bullshit. <laughs> I love how we put the Vsauce music. Like, this is like something, like, hard to understand, you know? Like, bro, for me, it is like, what is this game, bro? Back in my day. The better player oh. wins the fight! What is all this shit? What are these superpowers? The abilities in this game are a lot like Call of Duty kill streaks, especially the ults. One of them that just blew my mind was this baby dinosaur. Baby fucking Pokemon that would run out and plant the bomb for you, or defuse the bomb. What? You can also smoke the site after you die. Too many superpowers for me to handle at once without losing my mind. I do think the abilities in ult make this game super interactive and rewarding. But for new players, I don't think so. It's a huge argument, which game is harder, which game is easier. Boy, it's just so much to learn as well, you know? You play Valorant for the first time. How do you get started with Valorant? CS, you shoot hat, they die, that's it. Yeah, you may get flashbang, you look away, you understand it. A molly, you're not supposed to stand inside. You smoke the molly, like an extinguisher shot, it all makes sense. You know? Yeah, there's a spray control to it, sure. But bro, in Valorant days, you need you need like you need to, you need to attend university, Valorant University, for a week before you even understand what's going on. No, I felt completely clueless in my games. Like a dog, you don't know if it's a flash, if it's a molly, if it's if it's if it's if it's an ultimate that takes away your gun. Bro, <clears throat> how do you actually get started in Valo? It's it's it's. I guess it's the same as with League, and maybe it's kind of part of 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 the game as well, once you're inside, you already learned so much, you're, and you think kind of like, oh, I have, I, I, Valorant, I was so clueless at the beginning, now I've played it for months, now I finally got the hang of it, can't leave it now. And they release a new agent, zack, and you bash all the noobs that are joining. Once you're inside, you're inside, bro.
I don't know. Valorant is way harder than Counter Strike. And I feel like less people also probably leave Valorant than, than quit CS, right? Because you're like, there's so much, so much brain space is 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 to f fucking used up for Valor, bro. So many ults, so many fucking everything. In my opinion, Counter Strike just has a higher skill ceiling because there's optional things you could do. Valorant, though, you need a spell book, level 10 wizardry, to yeah. understand what the fuck is going on. Valorant is the perfect example of a new generation's competitive shooting game. Counter-Strike has been out for oh, 20 wow. years, and us veterans, we oh. gotta face it. Dude, that looks insane. What the fuck? Fuck is going on. Valorant is the perfect example of a new generation's competitive shooting game. Counter-Strike has been out for 20 years, and us veterans, we fuck? gotta face it. We're all too old for this game, and we will never understand it. Dude, it's crazy how Tense is the goat of, of, of Valorant, no? She used to be a, a, a CS player. And he didn't do too well in CS, but uh, Valorant is his mother sucking game. Look, he even has an HGTV profile. Tyson. <clears throat> Bang. Complete statistics. I mean, this looks really, really good, but I think it wasn't at the highest level, right? He was playing for random ass teams. His last official in 2020. Rap Gang, Bushido Boys, it's full random teams. <clears throat> oh wow, he was on Cloud9, ain't Bar right? a driller. I mean, this ain't a random team, Jesus. Is this real? Cloud9, Tense, damn! Look at this fucking roster. Tense, Automatic, Daps, Mixwell, Kusta. Mixwell, isn't he also Valor now? <clears throat> Interesting. <laughs> Community, oh. How about you say it with your microphone? Community, again, I think po big positives and big negatives. Phone, kid, did you get to kill that round? No, that did round? I? No. Yeah. You're a fucking motherfucking dick, you motherfucker. No, you're an angry bot. That's all you are, look at you. Uh, shut up, you little bot. <laughs> Lock in, dude, we can yeah, still win. Five, I can still <laughs> your mom. No, you can't. Valorant <laughs> TikTok Riz Party. Valorant Riz pickup lines. We've seen it all. It's pretty popular online to make fun of Valorant because it has this subgenre of cringe that you can only find inside Valorant. But in my honest opinion, Valorant players. What? You can only find. In I'm taking MVP. Try, princess. I don't get it. Inside Valorant. But in my honest opinion, Valorant players are angels compared to Counter-Strike players. I told them right off the rip, hey, I'm a noob, can you guys explain the game to Damn. me? And they were all welcoming with open arms. They're both like I can't here, fucking hold. How long has it been since you played this game? Feels like an eternity. Bro. <laughs> okay. And that down 4 and 12. Chat, imagine saying that in CS in the Premier Lobby. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Bro, you would, you, you, would, you would get kicked by the end of the game, bro. Go. It still helped and made me feel respected on the team. I don't even want to know what it's like to boot up Counter-Strike for the first time <laughs> and hop into a lobby as a noob. I don't want to know. Oh, Overall, God. though, you're going to see some sad shit that goes on in Counter-Strike lobbies. The same could be said for Valorant, but it's in a totally different fashion. Whoa, you just got sucked in the hell. What? I literally love sucking women. I came into this <laughs> expecting Valorant to be some shithole knockoff of Counter-Strike, but this Why are spacious always so on point? Game is kind of its own thing, just <laughs> hanging out. I would shit on Valorant a little harder because I just don't really like the game, but look at Counter-Strike. Let's knock out the Valorant hate, guys. <laughs> Did I learn a lot? Yes. Did I come out of this as a new person? Absolutely. Yeah. Did I enjoy my stay? <laughs> fuck you. There's a dumbass with a giant hat outside a... <laughs> Dumbass wearing a hat, kill him. Probably not. But nonetheless, Valorant, it's okay. Let's give a round of applause to Valorant. I'm never coming back to this game. Anyways, though, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Catch you guys in the next one. Hey, it's not a bad... I mean... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Zero Chat. Pixel. Oh, Chat, I don't know, man. When we did this one Valor stream, not gonna lie, I ended the stream happy. That was a nice stream. That was a... Hey, and this was a nice video. Duo web as always. He tried up Valorant, it was a blast, blast to watch. Hey, leave him some love, you already fucking know, suck.